that we are back again. And now, my guest is Mr. Ahmed Gitte on the line to Ottawa in Canada. Uh, Mr. Gitte, once again, welcome to iAfrica Special Edition, and thanks for accepting the invitation. Uh, you're very welcome, sir, my brother, my friend, and uh, uh, the special uncle of this panel. Uh, thank you for having me. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Gide. Um, foremost, I want to ask your opinion because we want to talk about the Commission of Inquiry, um, on the Commission of Inquiry into Dictator Jamis' assets and financial dealings with the public enterprises. What is your general perception of the Commission of Inquiry itself? Uh, uh, um, once again, let me take this opportunity to uh, thank um, iAfrica for uh, the wonderful job that uh, you are doing. Mm -hmm. um, you are actually um, uh, 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 doing a great job, and mm -hmm. uh, you're worth uh, being emulated by the mm -hmm. um, the current uh, 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 interviews, questions mm -hmm. and answers at uh, the Commission of Inquiry have become very transparent, and uh, every Gambian and non-Gambians alike that are interested are following. And that's thanks to your amazing job. Well, coming to your question, uh, we, we have fought um, against Jame for several reasons, one mm -hmm. of them being uh, transparency and accountability and mm -hmm. the way he deals with uh, his responsibilities as a public official. Mm -hmm. And so um, if Jame goes away, uh, bringing that very, very fundamental principle of democracy uh, is of great importance. So, uh, to you know, be precise, uh, it's amazing. Uh, this is happening. Commission of Inquiry, and I'm sure um, uh, from uh, the little experience I have about all the commissions of inquiries in Nigeria, in Sierra Leone, uh, I mean, a lot of them were done in public. And in fact, President Yaya Jame uh, also did the same thing to form a government yeah. uh, in the name of transparency. So it's amazing. It's a good thing. Well, that you, you think it's good. Um, you know, the, the commission is headed by uh, renowned Gambian, uh, Surahata uh, Jani. Um, obviously, we have a very formidable woman as the council, um, Ami Bensura. And you also got people like uh, Mr. Sain, who are part of the commission. The commission is given a three months mandate to <laughs> do all the investigation. So before we go into the other issues, uh, GJ, um, I'm sure you're monitoring the commission sittings. And um, Africa normally brings a live broadcast of this uh, sittings and, 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 and for a lot of Gambians outside to watch it. Are you happy with the the MO, the modus operandi of the commission in terms of the people that they're bringing forward as witnesses? Uh, I mean, uh, uh, we have to first and foremost uh, uh, see where the commission ends. I mean, uh, they're bringing people. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, these are people that understood or at least have an understanding of uh, uh, some of the accounts or assets that uh, the former president owned or the former president controlled. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I mean, each of them that I watched uh, spoke uh, in that sitting uh, definitely gave uh, very uh, uh, important information. Um, mm -hmm. uh, they gave they get they they are getting a very uh, uh, positive response on the side of uh, the judges from the from the accountants and those uh, uh, in question. So I mean I, I, they are getting right people. I'm sure. Um, in every society, you start with the smaller ones, and uh, the big fish will be fried as we move on. So uh, <laughs> it's three months period. So I, I am definitely confident that um, we will have at least uh, most of uh, the unanswered questions uh, addressed by the time the commission concludes its uh, it's, it's, it's sitting. Um, uh, Mr. Gide, what what stands out? 
most to you in terms of the regulations of the commission as a person and as a very vocal Gambian on social media. Uh, you, everybody knows Ahmed Jita doesn't shy away from giving his views on social media, um, as young as you are, but you will never shy away from giving a view. But what, what from these sittings, what stands out most shocking to you from when it start, started? Well, I mean, I, 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 I have not watched the thing because, you know, I'm a new father, so I was oh, yeah. very... In fact, I should, have, I, mean, I should have congratulated you. I did congratulate you, but I should have congratulated you on air. Yes, uh, yes. On the yes. Bouncy yes. baby boy, yeah. <laughs> you did. Yeah. You did. Uh, and I'm very grateful. So I, I've not followed everything, but mm -hmm. um, um, uh, 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 we're talking about the way that uh, President Yaya Jame uh, was able to, uh, you know, uh, withdraw money even after he left office. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, that was very shocking, especially about... Uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, some millions of to Senegal. Uh, that is shocking. And this was almost in February after he left. How did that happen? Right. What were those financial officials doing uh, to allow a man that is no longer in charge mm -hmm. uh, go about, you know, I mean, doing this money laundering? Mm -hmm. And you accept that, that was very shocking to me as to uh, thousands and thousands of Gambians. Mm -hmm. And that, 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 that's true, but somebody um, from, from the commercial bank's perspective, Ahmed Gizzi, I know you you somebody quite often with business knowledge and how banks operate. They yeah. deal with customers, and they would say that if, if the customer, you want to go and withdraw money from your account, the bank can stop you. And you know what Jamia did? The accounts were not in former Jam, dictator Jamia's name, but other people. So those people, if they wanted to withdraw their account, the banks could not have stopped them, even though Jamia was out of the country, and the accounts were not frozen in February. It, it all boils down to, um, again, I'm not very au fait, as you've said, uh, with uh, the banking and monetary markets. Uh, mm. I'm very sallow when it comes to understanding of how these things work. But one thing I know is uh, some of the accounts that they talk about are, you know, accounts that have uh, one or two or three signatories to them yeah. because yeah. of the amount of money that is uh, 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 in, in those banks. But how, how were that money when those people that were signatories, um, you know, uh, 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 did they accept? Did they sign? Did they approve of the transfer? So there are a lot of things that uh, needs to be answered, definitely. Yeah, thank you, Jita. Now, I haven't had your general perception of the Commission of Inquiry. Your name is put on social media um, because your name came up, was brought by yes. one of the witnesses that you were giving money transfers directly to your account, and mm -hmm. it raised... The, the pretty much people in diaspora are divided over this. Some people saying Ahmed Jita didn't do anything wrong because he was given scholarship. Others said, no, he needs to pay back our money. So yourself, you heard, uh, you send these things. But first of all, Ahmed Jita, can you tell Gambians because how this money was transferred to you? Were you on Gambia government scholarship or you were personally sponsored by Yaya Jami? Okay, um, uh, uh, for the interest of the viewers, yeah. um, I am here with you. I'm not obliged by yeah. the law. Yeah. I'm not obliged by anything yeah. to come and explain this. But, you know, I mean, as an individual, uh, sometimes you owe mm -hmm. people that love you, not for yeah. those that are, you know, uh, uh, you know, yeah. You know, uh, loved ones that may be confused about certain things. Um, so, I mean, I, I've heard, I listened, I watched when the Nigerian man from Guarantee Trust yeah. uh, mentioned uh, about one of the transactions back in 2012, um, $21,000 being transferred to Carlton University as my tuition fees mm -hmm. and seventeen thousand dollars directly to my account 
Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, uh, I don't know what the question wants to, you know, uh, get from me. But, uh, for those that are not familiar, because those that are on scholarship would understand what I'm coming to say, but it's not everybody that is privileged enough to uh, earn scholarship. Either you you do not perform good enough to get the scholarship, or you perform good enough, but you're not lucky enough to get scholarship. And for, for the benefit of those that do not understand, scholarships are, are several. They are many fold. Mm. Um, when you have scholarship anywhere in the world, yeah. there is a part of the scholarship that is meant for your tuition fees. Yeah. And there is also a part of scholarship that is meant for your own upkeep. Right. Now, your own upkeep is what most people would refer to as stipend. Stipend, monthly yeah. or annual stipend mm-hmm. and uh, you know the twenty one thousand dollars that they talked about was wired to Carlton University for my tuition fees right for a year and seven thousand was sent to myself into my account for my Your stipend, stipend. Yeah. actually mm-hmm. my scholarship the stipend as per the document that I received, I should receive $1,500 per month for the upkeep. Right. I know they've, they've done their you know, research and investigation, all know how to do that. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was supposed to receive $1,500 per month as right. type. Whatever is tuition fees, I register for classes based on the number of courses you register for for the year. The school bills you, and they will give you a bill, sign, and seal, and send it to the visit. When I register for my courses, uh, when I'm done, I would, in fact, um, I would enclose that with my previous results. So, sift it off to State House, and uh, the Secretary General or Secretary to Cabinet, most of the time, deal with matters, not even Yaya Jame. Um, the Secretary General and Head of the Civil Service. These are the people I, I dealt with throughout. Sometimes Secretary to Cabinet, sometimes, you know, permanent secretaries at the Office of the President. So where they get money and how they, you know, b- b- open the accounts, I, I have no idea. So <laughs> The, uh, the, 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 the cream of the of the question that I asked you, but yes, Mr. KJ, why almost all this who are about you, um, Nomodu Sabali's name came in the commission many times, no Ature name name came in the commission, you've got Ida Oba, who is now the secretary of the cabinet, our name came up in the commission, and also try in the, on social media, but do you feel that you've been picked on by people but, for that- political reasons? I mean, so it, it, you would you would be correct to say that, but you know, you know, um, I believe in something about me. My father used to tell me um, um, about something that I believe in today. You know, when I was young, I, my father, uh, he had a lot of Taliban, and we are many. Yeah. You know, who will be involved in in fights and all of that? But any time I am involved in a fight, it gets very Big, messy, <laughs> and, and yeah, not necessarily messy, but people take it out of proportion. And uh, uh, my father said that some things that are not meant for the the public. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, you know, I, I'm I'm most of the time like that. Whatever I am involved in, yeah, it's normally very big. I I don't know why. But the other side would be to agree with you. I mean, of course, I I I have been a very strong critic of some things. Of course, I have followers. Um, you know, if you pick on people's, poly, you know, leaders, of course, I'm right? On you. Yeah. They would they would they would find a way to defend whether it's right or wrong. So uh, that that's that's one thing that I believe it is. But. You know, uh, the, 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 the aspect that is very interesting is I mean, they, they kind of expose either 
you know, their inability to understand or their level of dishonesty because mm. um, everyone almost that listen or watch that or would be watching or listening to that audio the Nigerian clarify that $21,000 was sent to my university for tuition. Yeah. Seventeen came to me. Yeah. But then they picked it up and say $38,000 went to Ahmed Jete. Yeah. $38,000, $38,000. You know, it, you know, this is something you can be dishonest and misconstrue the story. But if you do this one, you are actually telling the world, hey, you are lying. Because it's not what you're saying. We've all witnessed uh, 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 and uh, heard and know what is involved. And, you know, like you have said, I think I would be thousand or 10,000 person uh, that benefited from scholarship under the APRC regime. And I've said this several times at my shows. Sometimes people contribute to their own downfalls. Yeah. One of the Aya Jame helped destroy himself is by educating people. You give them to understand who you are. Yeah. A criminal, and they found it out through the education that you have provided for them, and they dealt with you. So Jame, that aspect of you know his life, whether he did it uh, deliberately or, of course, I know most of it was to gain political favors from, you know, the, the, uh, the Gambians by sending their children abroad. Jame actually sent me abroad. He even went to my dad. He went yeah. to my dad in Kitty to, to greet my father. Um, you know, my father is an influential person. So Jame mm -hmm. was not a very stupid guy. And, um, you know, but, you know, to be precise, I know that uh, for the questions that you can ask, um, People know why they are picking on me. But one thing, um, uh, greatness comes with a package. Mm. And I believe uh, that I have that path that people take to go to greatness. I think I am standing on that. Mm. And on that path, you have a lot of uh, you know, recipes. Some yeah. There are there are big stones that you will hit your legs or toes yeah. again. And some of these are, uh, 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 um, I mean... Uh, Mr. Mr. Jide, to be honest, um, uh, you're a Gambian citizen. Um, if the Gambian government gave you scholarship, I don't know why people will... Um, and that was why I asked the first question I asked was, was it a scholarship? Because uh -huh. if it was a scholarship, nobody should make... Um, uh, there shouldn't be any outcry about it because... Any citizen can be given scholarship. But there are some people, I'm going to give you, these are not my views, I'm just giving you the views of other people, the information I read on social media. Some people saying, um, they are not they, they are not these. But on the whole, he was behind the scenes receiving money from the very dictator that you, you, yeah. you, you criticize. But to, uh, even though against the backdrop that uh -huh. I've heard you say many times that uh -huh. you yourself, you uh -huh. came out and told Gambians that you were against policy by the government. So even for this information, what's your thoughts on that? Again, it all boils down to uh, uh, who you talk to. Like uh, I've always said that I was on government scholarship and um, uh, I received money and uh, the receipts saw that these are uh, government accounts, one of them being ARC. Um, I have never seen any government account. I've never known where those that were sent for scholars uh, studies uh, get their stipends from. Which account of government is responsible for giving money to 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 uh, 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 students abroad? I receive money, and what I receive on all the letterheads uh, is from the Gambia government. They all have letterheads of the Republic of the Gambia. 
the coat of arms. That is what all of them have, and they are addressed to me from the governor, uh, uh, government of the Gambia, office of the president. So right. that, that, that is something uh, very important. But one thing that is important here is Gambians, let's say, have yeah. a lot of misplaced priorities. Um, Jame spent a lot of money. I think one area that people should and need to be very, very, very grateful for when it comes to spending their money is the aspect of sending Gambians to the Because I have seen and witnessed, and a lot of you did as well, Miss Black USA, almost 50 black Americans went to the Gambia. They yeah, have Miss Black Mr. USA. Mr. Peter, sorry to, they came sorry to, to interrupt you. I've just got a caller on the call. Special edition, you can make a contribution and make it brief because we are running out of time. Thank you, thank you very much. I've been watching and listening at the same time. Yeah. Thank you. We, we definitely run out of time. I got the gist of what you said. Thank you for calling in and making your contribution. Okay. Um, um, uh, okay. I've got people who are saying that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for calling. We are not really coming to um, I, I don't know whether we are breaking or not. <laughs> um, it could be from that person's end, but I think maybe I've only seen other people commenting that we are breaking up. Uh, Mr. Mr. GJ, um, we've got yes. a couple of, couple of, couple of minutes okay. left because it was going to be... Um, um, some people commenting as well on that <clears throat> our lines are breaking up. That's, that's beyond me. Fix the line. It's breaking badly. Okay. <laughs> um, whether it's coming now or it's it's not. So a lot of people saying I'm breaking. So I think we have to, uh, let me get in touch. Let me just put it on hold and. I Uh, Ahmed Jite, so the, the final question I would uh, ask you is, um, what do you um, have to tell your critics who, are, who have been on you since yesterday on social media, asking you to pay back this money to the Gambia government? What do you have to tell um, My father was a taxpayer. I personally pay taxes when I work for GRTS, my tuitions that I pay from primary school. Um, a lot of you would have been uh, uh, paying because uh, if you have a sister, President Jame created a project, a failed project called a President uh, uh, 
students, do, girls don't pay tuition or school fees in public schools from grade one to grade 12. Uh, they don't pay anything. Yaya Jamed doesn't pay it. Uh, if he pays it, he's getting it from Gambian taxpayers' money. So if your sister went to any of the schools, you have money to pay. The second one is... Um, um, Uh, go and ask them to return our money because uh, that money is taxpayers' money. You should have asked him to. If one of your parents or sisters or brothers went to Mecca, ask them to return. And that's very simple. The other thing actually uh, is uh, before you come after somebody personally, perhaps, who was on scholarship, I was an A student, and I was among those with distinction. Uh, you had Ghanaians, you know, Miss, Miss Black Africa 2006, 2007, 52 uh, 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 models from 52 countries were all given scholarship by a family from some And, uh, I mean, you have, you have, I mean, as, of, as I was saying, Miss Black USA, all the 52 states of the United States, black girl, that was like the winner, the Miss uh, Atlanta, Miss Georgia, Miss everywhere, all of them went to Gambia together. They had a program, I'm sure they all put one to the first one, the third one, they went Yaya Jame offered all of them scholarship. You have the, the actors and actresses from Nigeria and other places. You have yeah. Zen that, 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 that flew with your money, built uh, an estate in, 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 in uh, Morocco and all of that. Go talk to those people. And they talk about everything. And, you know, if you of inquiries, I was not the only student whose name was mentioned. I'm sure a lot of all of you yeah, were there. Yeah, uh, yeah. There were students whose name were equally mentioned. They got scholarships just like I did. They had monies transferred to them, just like it was transferred to me, and some to their schools, which is the standard way it is done. The source I have no idea where they are not legal. Students go to universities or colleges, stipends go to students for their upkeep. That is how it is done. Mamadou Sabali, that they are talking about, former Secretary General, was sponsored to do his master's uh, by President Ajam. And tens of thousands, I would say, uh, where they got money from, where they got it from, and it's that was gotten from cocaine or from heroin that Jame sold, because that tax money you are talking about, my mother, father, my brothers, my sisters, my uncles and nephews and uh, relatives contributed uh, towards... Mr. Mr. Jute, um, I think you've answered the question very well. Uh, we, we, we the is, don't... Shouldn't people wait until the commission submits its report and Ahmed Jita gets incriminated in the report, then people can start talking. But now the commission is just doing their findings and all of a sudden people are just going all over social media. Well, people have right to their opinion, but I think we are putting the cart before the horse. Don't you think so? Um, it will be good for people to wait for the recommendations coming from the, uh, 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 the commission. But then by virtue of uh, the revelations, um, uh, I mean, what is there to to wait for when it comes to me. These are, you know, when I would say, uh, uh, um, you know, tennis one's image, because this is not about an image, you know, tennising for me. It's it's showing either they are so myopic in the way they think, uh, or they are very dishonest with the truth, because a lot of them that even talking have They went, they had no problem. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Gide, I, wish, I, wish, I, wish, I wish we had a lot more time, but my prejudice yes. on my back saying that we completely ran out of time. Thank you for coming and clarifying this issue. I think a lot of people have heard from your side. Um, keep your head high. Obviously, you are public, uh, in the public line, like people will talk about you. Um, thank you for coming.
coming on, and I'm sure these discussions will continue uh, on this, but we wait until the commission finally submits its report. Until then, uh, thank you so much for coming to IAFRICA as, as always. What? One point, um, mm. uh, I, I think Gambians that are watching iAfrica uh, should help. You need to give support to iAfrica because it's going to be unfair for us to be watching them, watching them. I understand exactly. you spend two to three times go for me account. Every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a GoFundMe account. If people can contribute there and support Africa, thank you yeah. for saying that I'm a GTA. You're very thank welcome. You. You're very thank welcome. You very much, my brother. Thank you. Thank you, thank thank you, you for coming on. Okay, right. uh, that's the end of this show tonight. Apologies for the people who have been here. I'll bring it up. 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 I'll b